Very quickly, here are the basics of MLA format. First, you'd want to make sure all of your lines are double spaced with no extra spacing in between, and all of your paragraphs are indented on the first line. You can select manually all of your writing, or you can select control you can select all by using control A on your keyboard. Under your paragraph settings, you'd what you'll want to make sure that your line spacing is double and under spacing before and after this represents how much extra spacing you have between paragraphs you want that to be zero even though a lot of Microsoft Office programs automatically put in spacing between paragraphs you don't want it at zero you can make sure all of the first lines of each paragraph are indented by going back to your paragraph settings and under indentation choose first line That'll do it for you. You can also manually indent each paragraph using the tab key on your keyboard. At the On the first page, in the first page only, in the upper left hand corner is where you have all your identifying information. That's where you want your name, your professor's name, the course name, and the date. So rather than having title and by like this, did not mean to hit bold, you would instead have your name, professor's name, course name, and then the date. Next line down will be your title, and the title needs to be centered. You add no extra spacing before or after that title, and in fact the title is no larger and no smaller than all the rest of the text, so even though you might want to make your title like this, don't do it. Rather than have an interestingly formatted title, make your words interesting. For the font, use a standard font such as Times New Roman, 12 point. It doesn't have to be that anymore, but that's been, that's been the standard for quite some time. You can't go wrong there. You'll want to include a header on every page. You can just double, double click the space that would otherwise be your header, or you can go to your header options manually. On the header, you need your last name and the page number. So under your page number options, you'll select top of the page for under page number, and then find the page number format that puts the page number in the upper right hand corner. That'll automatically format your page number for you. You can just type in your last name there, you can select it, and go back to your font and size options to make sure it's consistent with the font and size you used elsewhere in your essay. And that's how you format your header. If you want to be hyper particular, the, the header doesn't appear on the first page, so under your header and footer tools you can select different on first page. Now your header won't show up on the first page, but it will show up automatically once you go to a second page. Anytime you include any information from outside sources in your essay, you need to use MLA citation. That's a different video, but for now, these are the basics of how to format your, ML, uh, format your essay in MLA. So congratulations, now you're basic.